Hello Bandits. Today we're taking a closer look at the Focus Home Interactive and Deck 13 smash em up, The Surge. Set in a futuristic dystopia, The Surge will feel very familiar for any fans of the Dark Souls series. As you make your way through the junkyards and districts within this crippled world in a rather robustly attached exosuit, your path will be strewn with enemies from undead humans in similar exo attire to hulking great machines and robotic enemies which will take some pummeling. You'll collect tech scrap along your way which you'll need to level up your suit as well as craft and upgrade new weapons and armour to keep you going. If and when you die, and you will die, your tech will be dropped and you'll have to make it back and pick it up on your next run through before losing it forever. With some brutal combat the surge isn't for the faint of heart and in order to create your new weapons and armour you'll need to cut parts off your enemies to put into the crafting process. You'll be able to target different areas of the enemy to either finish them off faster or cut through and bank their armour. The surge is officially rated by Peggy at 18 and we'll run that down as ever for you just here. Violence 9. With the third person view there is at least a little distance here but as you finish off enemies you'll be treated to some pretty bloody slow motion scenes with decapitation and other dismemberment. Language 6. As you could expect from a title such as this there would be some language however it might pale in comparison to what you'll be shouting out there in the real world. Fear 5. With zombie robots stalking your every move things are never peaceful in the surge. It's not a horror title but there is enough here to be a little wary. Drugs 1. A liberal use of injectables here to increase health or energy but no recreational use of anything you'd recognise. Online discrimination, gambling and sex all get zero, having no part in the surge whatsoever. A worthy 18 rating there then but how does it stack up overall? Graphics 9. While the visuals in the cutscenes are nothing short of remarkable, the in-game graphics can suffer a little especially when viewing the hair and other fine effects at a closer range. Story 7. It started strong but we seem to have missed out on some chunks of narrative along the way. Whether our memories will get filled in again will remain to be seen. Sound 10. The in-game sounds and soundtrack are generally of good standard, however areas such as the Medroom which have their own particular soundtrack really stand out as superb. Replayability 8. It doesn't have the online functionality of course but you will have to replay levels over and over to grind your way up and upgrade your equipment to then make it further. The balance here is done fairly well and while you will almost certainly die many times in all areas you always feel that you might just stand a chance this time. Satisfaction 8. After the graphics in the initial cutscene blew us away we were a little disappointed when the in-game visuals were averaged good, however with the gameplay being both fun and brutal and the grind having just the right mixture of graph to reward it's one that we've enjoyed so far. With the same type of gameplay and a futuristic mech tech landscape if you like Dark Souls we'd put a little money on you enjoying the surge as well. That's all for today, don't forget to head over to pixelbandits.org to keep up with all the news and reviews as well as the Pixel Bandits podcast.